Okay, let's try this again, you guys. What's up? Sorry about that. I've been having a little bit of trouble lately, but it's okay. Let's try this again and see if this link works. And again, you guys are talking about five tips to help your woman climax. So let's share this video and see if it's going to work. And then we're going to go and go live over on flymovieandqueen.com. All right, it's working now. So if you're in the chat, say what's up, like the video, share the video, subscribe. Um, let me share this real quick, though. Chime in. Okay, it shared, you guys. So let me go ahead and go live on Fly Newbie and Queen. Um, if you're over in on um, YouTube and you see that you have a wrench, it's because I made you a uh, moderator. And I gave wrenches to, or I made moderators, people that I always see in the chat. Everybody that are, you know, dedicated crown heads. I gave you a wrench. Like Shakir Latif, I always see you in the building, so I gave you a wrench. And it was quite a few other people as well. But that's the reason why some people have wrenches. It's because they are dedicated crown heads that always tune in each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, y'all. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and share this video. And then I'm going to go live right now, actually, on flynewbeandqueen.com. All right. So let me go live. Also, you guys, before I go live over on Fly Newbie and Queen, if you have a wrench, it's because you are a moderator. And if you see any trolls, I want y'all to get, that, get them out of here. Okay? Get the trolls up out of here. We don't got time for them. I know I don't really have a lot of trolls, but sometimes I do. And if you see one, you know. Get rid of them, all right? So sometimes I can't do it myself. Like last time, it was this guy, Hugh, who I had to block, who was talking about all kind of crazy shit. And I'm just like, you know what? If I have some moderators, I can handle that. So if y'all see anything extreme going on in the chat, get them, off, get, them off, get them off of here. But don't just start kicking out everybody, okay? It's okay if people are disagreeing with what I have to say, just as long as they are being respectful. All right. If they just being too damn off the chain, get their ass out. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go live over on Fly Newbie and Queen. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Danica Marie, and right now I am live over on FlyNubianQueen.com, the network for beautiful melanated kings and queens like us. If you want to be alerted every time we go live over on FlyNubianQueen.com, I want you guys to text the word Queens to 31996, um, and then you'll get those notifications. Uh, if you're over on YouTube, Danica Marie Dope Discussions, I want you guys to take this time as well to like, share, comment, and subscribe to that channel. Hit that notification bell, and you know, chime on in, okay? Each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Central, we go live with a relationship-oriented topic based upon what you guys send over to me uh, to my personal Facebook page, which should be linked in the description box. It is uh, over on Fly Newbie and Queen. But once I'm finished with um, YouTube, I will link my personal Facebook page there as well so that you guys can also be automatically directed over to my Facebook page to send me in relationship questions, relationship topics, subjects who knows who cares i will keep you anonymous if that's what you desire i'm a relationship coach and i'm always dealing with confidentiality all day every day so i will not put you on blast unless you tell me that it's okay to put you on blast or if you want to give me an alias name that's fine as well but tonight you guys we are talking about five tips to help your woman to climax okay now i do want to give a disclaimer this conversation will be just like last time when we talked about five tips to help your man climax. And it may be a little bit raunchy, okay? But it's for mature audiences. We are grown. We are sexy. We are mature. We know how to conduct ourselves. And like I said, I got some moderators over on YouTube that, you know, will kick your ass on out of here if you do get off the chain, okay? But um, I feel like this conversation will be very, you know, beneficial and very, very necessary. And I like to deal in balance. 
And I know last time we talked about five tips to help your man climax. So we're going to talk about five tips to help your woman climax as well. Now, on both platforms right now, whether you're over on FlyNubianQueen.com or Danica Marie Dope Discussions, like this video right now. Share this video right now. And chime in. Let me know who's in the building. All right? All my dedicated crown heads, say what's up. All my new crown heads, say what's up. I like for everybody to get in the habit of sharing their opinions, giving their feedback. You can agree with me. You can disagree with me. All that I ask is that you be respectful while doing so. All right? What's up, Arthur Martin over on FlyNubianQueen.com? He says, love you, Sister Queens, 31996. I am listening from Kansas City, Missouri. Shout out to Kansas City, Missouri. All right, y'all? So I hope that you guys did take this time to like this video, share this video, and subscribe. And before I get started, I, I like to say what's up to everybody. So let me give a quick little, you know, shout out to everybody. I see Marie Smith. What's up? I see uh, Shakira Latif. I see EJ Boxing Live. What's good? He said, let's get it popping. I see Andre Davis. I see Latoya Clark. What's good, Queen? I see Lamar uh, Dennis. I see Vibe and Jay. I see Rael Whitmore. What's good? I see TJ Patterson. Uh, I see Timothy Larry, Lamar Dennis, Bruce Rivers. Bruce, I should have gave you a wrench, but I will do that once I'm uh, finished because I know you're always in the building as well. And what's up, Lavin Thompson? Let me see who I see over on La Nubian Queen, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. I see Neferta Thomas. What's good? She all the way from Pennsylvania. I, myself, am in St. Louis, Missouri. A lot of people ask me, where am I from? Where am I located? I am born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. What's up, Calvin Bennett over on Fly Nubian Queen? What's up, Max Jerome? What's up, Twalisha Williams? All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and get the conversation started, all right? I don't want to hold y'all up too damn long, okay? So the first thing on my list out of the five tips to help your woman climax is, and ladies, chime in. Let me know if I'm on the money or if you if I need to add something to the list. We don't care. Chime in, okay? First thing on my list out of the five tips to help your woman climax is to focus on her clitoris. Okay. Again, this is for mature audiences only. If you're going to be on some little kid shit, this ain't for you. Okay. We grown and sexy. Yes, we're going to crack jokes. Yes, we're going to get a little raunchy, but we're going to always keep it classy. All right. But fellas, focus on her clitoris. All right. Many men don't know and understand that the clitoris is the main thing that you need to focus on when it comes to really stimulating your woman and getting her to climax. The clitoris is very sensitive and a hot spot for many, if not all women. When you make the, hold on. When you make the clitoris your target area, especially when it comes to oral sex, your woman is sure to have a wonderful and intense orgasm. All right, fellas. A lot of y'all, honestly, y'all be all over the place down there. Okay, y'all be looking or, or, you know, trying to stimulate everything but that spot. The clitoris is your best friend, fellas, all right? And I don't know if your woman told you or not, but that is a hot spot for a lot of us. And sometimes y'all be down there and just be like, okay, that's not it. They don't feel good. That don't got no feeling at all. Go back to the middle. Okay, focus on that little pearl. Focus on that little, you know, that little button right there. Go back there and stay there. Y'all be all over the place but that. And while, you know, touching, you know, down there is good, okay? It feels good, yes. But that main area that you really want to focus on, especially when it comes to helping your woman to climax, is the clitoris, all right? And y'all just don't be knowing. And so I'm trying to put y'all up on some game. So too many men, like I said, be all over the place down there. Um, and it's just like, okay, no, baby, I know you excited. Okay. I know you excited to be, you know, in the glory. Okay. In the presence of the glory, but I need you to, you know, calm down and bring it on back and focus right there and zero in on that clitoris. All right. That's what you have to do. You have to focus 
on the clitoris. Am I am I am I lying, ladies? Let me know if I'm lying. Okay, don't y'all hate when y'all you know getting it in with y'all man, and it's like or with a man because hopefully the man that you with know know that he's supposed to be right there. But I've had you know a man in the past, and and he didn't know exactly what he was doing down there, and it's just like, okay, baby, that don't feel good. Okay, you you touching my lips is not that my labias. Okay, no, that's not clitoris. Focus on the clitoris, fellas. I guarantee you it's going to help your woman to reach that climax that she needs because the clitoris is very sensitive. Like I said, it's very, it's very sensitive. And it, once it's being stimulated, it, it helps with all of those different senses going on. Okay. So stimulate your, your woman mentally, of course, first, emotionally first. But when it comes to physical stimulation and you want your woman to reach an orgasmic state, that clitoris is your best friend, fellas. And y'all don't be understanding that. All right. What's up, Justin Coop? He says a demonstration would help. Justin, like I said, King, we are keeping it grown and sexy and classy. We're not going to play with you. I see people laughing up at your ass. We're not going to play with you. We ain't doing no demonstration we just gonna need y'all to use y'all creative imaginations okay obviously if you're tuning in I'm, I'm sure you've had sex before so you know what you need to you know imagine in your head to help you reach some kind of conclusion and if you don't google is your best damn friend okay so if y'all know what a clitoris is i encourage you fellas to go out there and Google it, okay, and figure out what it is and figure out what you need to do to stimulate that area. And believe it or not, it's a lot of women out here who also are not really familiar with the female anatomy. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of us out here who don't understand what certain areas are called when it comes to our, you know, vaginal area. And I feel like, you know, you have to do some studying too. It's a lot of us who don't know. It's a lot of us that are ignorant and maybe we don't know what it takes for us to reach a climax. So, ladies, we can we can all benefit from this conversation. But what you do want to do, fellas, if you want to help your woman to reach a climax, is focus on her clitoris. All right. Uh, Timothy Larry says, I thought everybody already did this. I know I always have, but always looking for uh, news to please. OK, everybody don't know, Timothy. Like I said, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, or, or understand certain hot spots on a woman. OK, they, they don't know that, you know, it's, it's important to focus in on the clitoris. They think that you're just supposed to lick or, you know, penetrate, you know, the, the vagina. And it's like, yeah, that's cool, but that's not going to really get your woman where she needs to be. OK, so the clitoris is your best damn friend. y'all. All right. And with that being said, I'm going to move ahead along to the second thing on my list. But before I do, y'all like this video, share this video. Subscribe to FlyNubianQueen.com as well as the Nika Marie Dope Discussions. Chime in, all right? Chime in. The more, uh, the better, okay? Explore your options over on YouTube says, now this I need to see, okay? Uh, Ryle Whitmore says, is hitting the cervix good? We're actually getting ready to hit on this, okay? We're actually going to hit on this, on the, on the second thing on my list. I'm glad that you asked that Explore Your Options. We're going to help you explore your damn options tonight, okay? The second thing on my list out of the five tips to help your woman climax is to hit the G spot, okay? Uh, Ryan, Ryan uh, Whitmore, you want to hit that G spot, and that's probably what you are referring to. The G spot or Grafenberg spot is an area in the vagina that can be found by inserting a finger or fingers and to your woman and gesturing the come here motion. So, okay, the, the king over on Fly Nubian Queen wanted some damn, uh, <laughs> y'all laughing, you wanted some damn demonstration. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of this. So you stick your, your finger in your in your woman, right? And you wanna say, come here. Or you wanna stick your, your one finger, two fingers, the middle finger, it don't matter what finger, whatever your woman, cause every woman is set up differently. I think I almost uh, spoke too much. I'm just going to say, stick the fingers in or stick a finger in and, and, and say, come here. Okay. Say, come here or do one finger. I personally, I'm not going to even go there. 
stick your finger in and say, come here. When when your when your girl, when you hear you feel that little button in there, that's the Grappenberg area, okay? And you, you will get some kind of reaction from your woman when you do that. That's the G spot, actually. Okay. So this area is very sensitive. And if stroked correctly or penetrated deeply enough, can help your woman reach a climax like never before. Now, great positions, fellas, great positions to try to stimulate that Grappenberg area or the G-spot is the cowgirl, closed missionary, and doggy style. And that's my purpose, my personal favorite, okay? I like the doggy style. But, okay, that's a, those are great positions to help you to reach that Grappenberg area. And I think that's what the, the king over on uh, Danica Marie Dope Discussions was kind of referring to. That Grappenberg, that, that G spot. Now, again, fellas, in order to find that, that spot, you want to insert your fingers into your woman and say, come here, girl. Come here, girl. You know, come here, girl. That's how you can feel it. And she's going she gonna to start doing some, all, some other shit, okay? And you're going to be like, okay, that's the spot. Now, the way that you can stimulate that area with your penis, okay, again, I'm sorry if I'm being raunchy, but y'all asked me to talk about this kind of shit, and that's what we're going to talk about. And so and, and the way that you can stimulate that area with your penis in order to help your woman to reach an orgasm is to try a position like the cowgirl. Now, again, I'm not going to be over here demonstrating what the cowgirl position is. Google is your best damn friend. And the closed missionary, okay, the, the closed missionary is when, you know, you are on top of your woman and you're able to, you know, you know, get deeper into her that way. Cowgirl, y'all should know that's when your woman is riding you, okay? That's how, you know, she can reach that that um, that um G spot. But ladies, in order for you to reach that Raffenberg area, if you're doing cowgirl, is to kind of position yourself. You don't want to be straight up. That's not how you're going to reach that. You, you kind of want to like, it's kind of got to be like at a, at a slant or a diagonal kind of angle so you can reach that. Now, as far as doggy style, this is very this is a very good position to really hit that spot because your man is able to really penetrate as deep as he possibly can. OK, hopefully it ain't that damn that ain't that's too much for me. But I'm just saying I don't know why I grabbed my arm. Okay, I don't know, but <laughs> when you're in doggy style, the position of that is your man is able to really penetrate as deep as he can, and that is a way for him to really touch that Grappenberg area. The deeper that you go, the more likely your chances are of touching the G spot. Now, this is a disclaimer, though, you guys, it's important to understand that not many women reach an orgasm by penetration alone okay that is very important for you guys to really understand only only about like 18 percent of women can actually reach an orgasm by strictly penetration okay by you just simply hitting that that g spot that's very rare so don't get your hopes up all right with the with just hitting the, the g spot while it feels good i'm not gonna lie okay when you're when your man is able to hit that spot it really takes a lot of patience, a lot of focus, and a lot of time to really get you to, you know, have that climax when you're just focused on that, that Grafenberg area. Um, but you can find a way to hit the G spot while simultaneously stimulating her clitoris. Because like I said, your clitoris is very sensitive. A lot of women need some kind of clitoral stimulation in order to reach a climax. So like I said, although you may not be able to just let your woman or make your woman reach a climax by simply, you know, hitting that G spot and it's going to feel wonderful. OK, it's going to feel it's amazing. But I'm going to tell you me personally. OK, and obviously it's a lot more women out here who are is in my position and it takes a lot more to climax just from your man hitting a G spot. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take some time. It takes a lot of focus. It's gonna take a little bit of meditation, low key. Okay. It just takes a lot. So what I personally like to do, 
Okay. And I'm sorry if I'm being, you know, a little bit too forward and blunt. What I personally like to do, you guys, is when my man is hitting that G spot, I also like to, you know, stimulate my clitoris. And to me, that helps that climax to be reached faster. And it's also more intense. Okay. It's going to be a lot more intensified when your man is hitting that Grafenberg area on top of you having, you know, your clitoris stimulated. I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to blow your motherfucking mind, okay? But if your man is not, you know, taking time out to really reach those depths, okay, you can reach a, a orgasm, like I said, because not a lot of women um, reach an orgasm by strictly being penetrated. But it's not going to be as good, ladies. It's not going to be as good as when your man is also hitting that G spot. It's going to make it 10 times better. It's going to make the orgasm last a little longer. Um, it's going to make you reach a climax a lot faster. Uh, it's the same thing when it comes to oral sex. And to me, number one and number two kind of go hand in hand as far as focusing on the clitoris as well as hitting the G spot. When it comes to oral sex, ladies, a lot of us, um, when our man is giving us oral sex and he's able to if your man is experienced, because a lot of men don't know what they're doing down there. They, they, like I said, they be all over the place, everywhere but the damn clitoris. I'm like, no, baby, focus on that. Um, but when your man is giving you head, okay, I'm just going to keep it, keep it a hundred. Your man is giving you head and he's licking your clitoris and also, you know, doing the come in, okay, inside of you. That orgasm is intense. It's amazing. That's because he's able to stimulate both of those areas, the, the Grafenberg area as well as your clitoris. Same thing goes for the penis, you fellas. Okay, so um, maybe your woman is not the type of woman who likes to, you know, rub herself down there. Me personally, I, I feel like it's better for me to, you know, stimulate my own clitoris. But if you want to be, you know, extra fellas and go to extra the extra mile for your woman, what you can do is while you are, you know, Let's say doing my personal favorite. Okay, when you do when you are doing the doggy style, okay, face down, ass up. What you can do is also kind of reach down in front of your woman and also like tickle it a little bit while you penetrate. Okay, that's gonna help her as well. And then it's also it's also gonna free up her hands so that she can really focus on you know climaxing. But what you do want to do, fellas, is <laughs> hit that G spot. And also stimulate her clitoris. Y'all laughing up on Fly Nubian Queen. I hope I ain't being too damn much for y'all. Hopefully y'all are learning though. That's all it's about. Uh, I do want you guys to like these videos, share these videos, and subscribe to the networks, whether you're on flynubianqueen.com as well as the Nick Marie Dope discussion. But I'm just all about us learning from each other, growing from each other, having those uncomfortable and awkward conversations, especially in regards to relationships and sex comes along with that territory okay you guys sex is a part of relationships and we're gonna have to have these conversations i just ask that you guys be mature about it all right so fellas you want to hit that g spot bend her ass over get as deep as you can get as deep as you can and even if you are doing missionary because that that was also a great position to hit the g spot if you're doing missionary just make sure that you are as close to your woman as possible and kind of like pulling her deeper or pulling yourself deeper into her so that you are stimulating her y'all laugh and i want y'all to be real okay i can't want y'all to be grown and sexy why y'all gotta laugh okay but she, i want you to like kind of pull her deeper in and and what another another great trick for you fellas to do is to kind of you know thrust your hips a little bit i know i know y'all probably be like oh that's doing too damn much but you have to do that because what that is doing is actually um driving it in you know a little more and it's giving you kind of a rhythm and as we all know a lot of orgasm can be reached by having that rhythm in place you don't want to be all over the damn place and then off key off beat and shit and then she don't know how to catch the vibe you gotta let your woman catch that vibe and the way for her to catch that vibe is for you to kind of you know have that rhythm going, okay? If you want to go fast, that's fine too. That's fine too. A lot asking that you switch that shit up, all right? But just know that the way to make your woman climax is to hit that G spot as well as stimulating that clitoris. And with that being said, you guys, 
Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to FlyNubianQueen.com, the network for beautiful, <laughs> melanated queens and kings like us. Text the word queens to 31996 for alerts. And if you're over on YouTube and you can read dope discussions, I ask that you please like this video as well. Share this video and subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell. All right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me drink some of my damn water. Y'all over here laughing on, on flynubianqueen.com. I'm just trying to help you out, help y'all out. Okay. I got my alkaline water with the chlorophyll. Y'all know how we do around here. Okay, uh, TJ Patterson over on YouTube says, basically what Bernie Mac said about giving her the D. Okay, you got to give her all the D so you can hit that G, okay? <laughs> uh, Charles says, give her that um. That's right, give her that um. You got to give it to her, okay? You don't want to be... And, and what I really don't want y'all to do is to get in y'all head. I, I really want y'all to just, like, let the passion flow. Don't Don't try to make her come. Just focus on doing what you got to do. Um, because what I find personally, especially in my last relationship is when you try to make her come is it kind of takes away the spice because she's going to be able to pick up on, okay, he's not really into it for, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, he's not really into it for the sake of, you know, being into it and letting himself go. He's just really trying to make me come. And that's kind of whack, okay? We want our, our men to be able to lose themselves. And we're actually going to touch on that, so I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. But you just lose control a little bit. Let the, the love and the passion and that mood take over you. Don't focus so much on, okay, I got to make her come. How can I make her come? How can I make her come? That's, that's taking away the edge. That's taking away that spice. And it's actually making the mood a lot more dull and dim when you do that. do You don't want to think too much. When it comes to sex, it's just supposed to be like... We just going, okay. We going with the flow. We make we letting everything take over. We letting our bodies take over. We, we're letting our minds take over, and we're not really overthinking and overanalyzing what we're doing. All right, fellas, that's very important for y'all to say. All right, Melanie over on Fly Nubian Queen says it hurts when you don't know what the hell you're doing. It sure do, Queen. Some men, I don't know, they be watching too many damn pornos. Okay, Queen, they be like, yeah, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna tell that ass up. And, and, and we actually going to touch on that next, Melanie. And the third thing on my list, you guys, out of the five tips to help your woman climax is to be sensual and rough. Be sensual and rough. And let me explain. Okay. Lachey Jeffrey says, yes. Okay. Oftentimes, fellas, when it comes to sex, men are either being too soft and timid or too harsh and rough. It's important to be balanced in the bedroom so that you are not giving your woman too much or too little of something. Overdoing something can lead to your woman becoming bored, which will not result in an orgasm. So switch it up with your technique, switch up your tempo, switch up your approaches, and switch up your strokes to really get your woman's juices flowing, helping her to climax. All right. So, like the queen over on Fly Nubian Queen said, Miss Melanie Payton, she like, look, y'all don't know what y'all doing too much. A lot of men, y'all don't know what y'all doing because y'all be going too damn hard. Y'all be trying to be like what y'all see on these pornos, okay? And while that's fine, don't don't get me wrong, I do like a little a little porno turn up in the bedroom, but it's important for you to balance that on out and not just go ham, okay? Because like 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 the queen said, that can hurt, okay? It can hurt if y'all know what you're doing. It okay if you, especially if you are well endowed, okay? Which most black men are, okay? I'm gonna keep it. Peace to the kings, okay? And, and you trying to turn up too damn much and, and you going a little bit too hard in the paint, okay? That can hurt a little bit. So it's important for you to pay attention to your woman's body, pay attention to her um, reactions, her body language, and all of that. Don't get so caught up in like, okay, I'm just going to beat this up and I'm just going to give, I'm going to go ham, that you're not paying attention and that you are hurting your woman or causing some kind of uncomfortability go in the bedroom. That's going to throw off everything and your woman will not have an orgasm because she's going to be like, I'm in pain. You you tilting my uterus or some shit. Like, that's not what you want, fellas. Take your time. Be gentle. Be sensual. 
And then also try to, you know, find a way to turn up a little bit if you can. You want to ease your way into that. That's not something that you just want to come out the gate like, I'm. calm down. Okay, C calm down, Calvin. Okay, <laughs> so, and I ain't picking on you, Calvin. I just see you over in the comments. But if you just want to, as soon as you get in, it's like, okay, no, 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 slow down. That's going to hurt your woman. She's going to be like, Nick, get the fuck off of me. That hurts. No, stop. Don't. Y'all laughing, but I'm dead ass serious. And it's a lot of men who get a little bit too excited. Slow down. Know how to, you know, be more in tune with your partner. It's going to be instances where it costs for you to be uh, rough. And it's going to be instances where it costs for you to be a little more um, gentle. And you just have to learn how to switch up that tempo. Like I said, change up the pace. It's okay to, to switch up the pace a little bit. Just make sure that you're on key and that you got consistent movement, like Calvin said, okay? And make sure that you are not doing too damn much, like the queen said. When y'all doing too much and y'all know what you're doing, okay, because y'all be doing too much and nothing at all, That's that can be painful. That can be uncomfortable. It can be a turnoff. Um, and your woman will not have an orgasm. So you want to definitely make sure that you are being both sensual as well as rough. But pay attention to what that move costs for for that particular night. It's going to be nights where all you want to do or all she wants to do is make love. And that's fine. Sometimes your woman that ain't got time, she don't want you to smack her on the ass tonight. She don't want you to pull up out of dreads. She don't want you to, you know, slap her. She don't want you to bite her. She don't want none of that. She just wants her man to... You know, lay down with her and and give her that nice, gentle, smooth stroke. Okay, sometimes she wants you to kiss on her neck and shit, and you know, bite on her earlobe and you know, tell her she's beautiful and shit. Sometimes, yo, that's what that's all she wants. And it's gonna be sometimes where she just like, baby, I want you to tell this up. Okay, it's gonna happen, and, and you are gonna have to do your job either way. But most times, I would say a lot of women would prefer a nice balance. Well, at least me, okay, this is me. Maybe I'm being a little bit too personal with myself. I like a nice balance. I, it's it's going to be times throughout that one interaction, one, that one sexual interaction, where I do want you to start off being sensual. I do want you to start off being gentle with me and, you know, caressing me and giving me nice slow strokes, okay? That's fine. But then as we, as we pick it up, it's time to pick it up, okay? And throw this ass back, okay? <laughs> and, and I know, I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm being raunchy, but we being real grown and sexy, okay? And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And you're going to have to switch up that tempo to keep everybody engaged and interactive. But if you're just doing the same thing, at least me personally, if it's the same old basic tired-ass move, in the same as basic ass tired ass position, I'm going to get turned off. Uh, I'm probably going to dry up a little bit. You probably going to go soft a little bit. And that's not what we want. We want to make sure that we are keeping everything going, keeping the juices flowing, keeping the blood rushing. Okay. If we need that blood rushing down there, honey. So we want to make sure that we are being sensual and rough at the same time, not being too much of one thing, not being too soft and gentle. Um, unless that's what she wants, that's what the what the occasion calls for, or not being too rough, unless that's what the occasion calls for. It's probably gonna be some times where y'all just wanna look quickie and it's like, girl, I just wanna bend that ass over. That's it, okay? And that's fine if that's what y'all wanna do that day. But I'm gonna say most of the time, try to incorporate both elements. Try to uh incorporate sensual, sensual movements, sensual touches. Uh, sensual interactions as well as that rough kinky shit. That's 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 brilliant. Okay, it's amazing. I promise you, your woman will reach a great orgasm. Especially, let's say if you in there, fellas, and you hitting that G spot, right? Okay, you hitting that that Grafenberg area. You 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 stimulating the, the clitoris and everything, and you going ham in the paint. And then she like, oh my, I'm almost there, baby. You hitting them up a spot. Then what I want you to do is kind of slow it down a little bit. That's going to really get her going. Or maybe if you're going slow and she's like, oh, I'm almost there, then I want you to beat it up a little bit. All of that is going to be great. It's going to be great. Just learn how to switch it up and know, and learn when to switch it up. You don't want to keep switching it up because then I'm like, I can't catch your drift. Okay, so just make sure that you are implementing sensual touches and sensual aspects of the sex uh, life as well as that kinky shit because that's, be that's beautiful. Y'all laughing, but I'm dead serious. All right. 
So be sensual and rough. That will help your woman to help reach that climax. All right. So yeah, you can kiss on her. You can kiss her softly and all of that. But then it's time to girl get your ass up, bend over, slap that ass, grip that ass, you know, all of that. We like that, all right. So Bill over on Fly Nubian Queen says, the way you talk, I'm ready to go to work. I'm not gonna play with you, King. Um, McKeet. Captain Manny says, I had to click on this preach sister. <laughs> I'm just trying to help y'all out in the bedroom. A lot of us are having sex problems, okay? We don't know what we're doing in the bedroom. Or maybe we got bored or maybe it's gotten too routine. And so we need to figure out what can we do to help our partners get back in that zone like we used to. All right, let me see who I see over on YouTube. Uh, what's up, Dante uh, Champion? He over here laughing. What's up, section uh, 31X? He says, rough all the time. This ain't an R&B video. Let's get it. Section 31X, let me tell you something, King. Sometimes you're going to have to put your woman in that R&B video. And sometimes you're going to have to put your woman in that porno flick. It's balance. Balance is the key to life, baby. Let me tell you, King. So if you just want to be over here, like, beating it up and... That's gonna get that's gonna be that's gonna be whack as fuck. It's gonna get tired, it's gonna get lame. And I speak from personal experience with that, okay? My ex, all he wanted to do was beat it up all the time. I'm just like, damn, can I have a little bit of sensuality going on? Like, what the hell is this? I I, I know I may look like a porn star sometimes, okay? Okay, but that don't mean you gotta treat me like one baby. Damn, I'm still your can I be your little princess tonight? Can we incorporate a little bit of soft touch and you know soft words and caressing and shit well i always gotta just bend over and pop it open and ride it like this and bounce it like that like can you make love to me okay and so a lot of men don't understand they don't see anything wrong with that because a lot of y'all are into pornos all y'all see is a lot of wham bam thank you ma'am situations all y'all see is all of these flicks where it's no care for the woman it's just all about getting your nut off you know especially I, I, like again i'm sorry if i'm i'm probably telling, talking too much but i watch pornos okay my man ain't here my man ain't here sometimes what you think i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and do what i gotta do okay and, and sometimes that requires me to go and pull it on up okay and you gotta do you gotta get how you live okay and so i see a lot of these pornos i see the pornos <laughs> he has some silly I see the pornos a lot, and a lot of them are based around, like, the barbaric actions. It's all about, yeah, I'm going to beat this up. And then you got, you know, women in these situations where she with two men, and, you know, it's, they got the double penetration going on. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, can we make love? What, where's the making love pornos? Why is always this, you know, barbarian type shit going on? Like, can we slow it, switch up the tempo a little bit? And it's a lot of men who watch this on an everyday basis. And so they're like trying to reenact what they're seeing. And I just want to let y'all fellas know that ain't it. Okay. That ain't it. While it is certain elements that you can incorporate into the bedroom that are very fun, that are very, it will turn your woman on. Yes, it will. But to always make that the atmosphere, that's not cool, okay? That, that, that gets really played out, and your woman will start to question, like, well, damn, am I just a sexual object to him? Or do he really, you know, enjoy me for me? Does he really, you know, love me? Does he really care about how I feel? Does he really care about making me feel like, you know, a little, you know, timid little princess or his queen, or am I just his little slave? Am I just his little freak? And like I said, you guys, you have to make it to where it's a good balance of both. Yes, I want to be my man's personal slave freak. Tie me up, do whatever the fuck you want to do to me, put my hands behind my back, gag me, whatever you want to do, that's fine. But also try to incorporate elements into the sexual inter interaction to where your woman does feel like she is still a woman. Okay, that she is still a human being and not just some, you know, captured sex slave. While that can be fun, okay, but um, try to make her feel like a human being as well. And a lot of the pornos don't reflect that. And I feel like a lot of that gets stuck in men's subconscious mind and then they're acting that out. And they're like the king over on YouTube, like, well, this ain't no R&B 
video, okay? I'm finna beat that ass up. And that's cool. But also, you have to bring it back sometimes, all right? And with that being said, we're gonna move ahead along to the fourth thing on my list, you guys. Out of the five tips to help your woman climax, and the fourth thing on my list, you guys, is... This is very important. Incorporate passion via facial expressions, sounds, and physical contact. All right? And I see all the hearts and likes over on Fly Nubian Queens. So I think y'all agree with this. Um, but incorporate fa uh, passion via facial expressions, sounds, and physical contact. Nothing turns a woman on more then feeling like her man is losing himself in her, allowing himself to be vulnerable and letting the passion take over. Seeing her man's face change upon penetration. That's so damn sexy. Um, or as he strokes, hearing her man breathe heavily, whisper how good she feels, moaning subtly, sub subtly, Okay, uh, and feeling him thrust inside of her all plays a key role in helping a woman climax. The mental, physical, and emotional impact that passion ignites helps to play on all senses, making an orgasm more possible for your woman. Okay, I want you guys to have passion when it comes to making love or even just beating it up. Have passion with that shit. Don't make it seem like this is just um, a, a situation where you just trying to get your nut off and then you're going to go and move and go ahead about your day. We don't want that. OK, you want to incorporate a lot of passion and let that passion take over. Don't think so much. Like I said in the, in the beginning, don't don't get in your head too much and be like, OK, how can I make her come? How can I do this? How can I do that? Just let the passion take over. Your body will do that for you. You won't even have to think about it. It's going to consume you both. And then your woman will be more likely to reach that climax because she feels like, you know, her man is being vulnerable right with her right now. She feels like her man is really in tune with her right now. She feels like her man is enjoying her. OK. And so when you let your passion take over, she's going to be st so stimulated on all aspects that she's going to at some point reach that climax it's going to be like damn it's going to be the best orgasm that she's ever had because it's going to be an orgasm that was achieved or reached by her man you know taking control of her body and losing himself inside of her okay no pun intended but that too okay fuck that pun intended all right lose yourself inside of her don't be shy let your guard down and give your woman that passion it shows that you are not only enjoying the sex, but that you are enjoying her as a whole. So explore and don't hold back. And I saw all the hearts over on Fly Nubian Queens. So I'm thinking it's a lot of queens over here like, yes, honey. Yes. Have some passion. Okay. Um, when, when there is passion in that bedroom, you know, you're going to find yourself doing things that, you know, you would have never thought to do because your body is taking over. Your in, the energy in the room is taking over. And you're doing all kind of shit that's just like outside of yourself. It's like, damn, I didn't mean to go go that go that hard. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but I'm serious. Like, damn, I didn't mean to make that face. I didn't mean to bite her. Or I didn't. I didn't mean to suck on it. Or you gonna it's gonna take over, and that's beautiful, y'all. You know, allow yourself to you know moan softly. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with moaning. A lot of Y'all men, y'all really don't understand, okay? Y'all don't understand how fucking sexy it is for a woman to hear her man being pleased. Like, I crave that shit. A lot of women crave that. That's beautiful. That lets her know that not only are you enjoying her, but you're enjoying her body. You're, you're enjoying the experience. You're allowing yourself to be open. You're, you're letting that guard down, and you're just all up in it, and you just consumed in her. That's beautiful. Start making noises, fellas. And I'm seeing, again, all the hearts and lights over on Fly Nubian Queen. So somebody feel me. Okay? It's a lot of men out here who like, man, I ain't saying, I ain't making no noise. That's weak shit. That's for her to do. It's for you to do, too. Am I saying Am I that you're supposed to be out here screaming? No. Okay? I ain't saying that. But make some damn noise, you know, or at least talk to her. Say, damn, baby, you feel so good. 
Good. Something. Okay. Don't just be out here like, you know, silent. Breathe heavily, you know, whisper, do something. Do something to let her know that there is passion there. Don't just make it seem like you just this robot and it's all about, you know, just getting this nut off or that's whack. Okay. If I wanted that, I can go get my toy, which I personally don't have no toys, y'all. Like, and a lot of people be getting on my head with that. Like, you don't got no toys? Like, no, I got a, I got a real life, you know, husband. So I don't need a fake penis if I have a real one. But when he's not here, you know, I, I have fingers. Okay. I know how to stimulate myself with my clitoris. Again, number one, stimulate that clitoris, y'all. That's how your, your woman can re reach that orgasm. But, you know, if your woman wanted to have an experience where there was no passion, she can go do that by her damn self, you know, with, you know, a blow up doll or something. I don't know. Do they even have male blow up dolls? I'm sure they do. Okay. I saw the little real life uh, male uh, sex doll. So she can go and get him if she wanted that experience. Okay. So make sure that you are, you know, making your woman feel like you're engaged, that you're enjoying this. This feels so good to you. You love her. Yes. Do something. Whisper. Uh, what else I say? Make your facial expressions. That's fucking beautiful. Okay. I don't care how ugly it is. <laughs> do something. That bite your lip. Like, damn, girl. Like, yes. Women crave that shit, fellas. That will make your woman reach an orgasm like never before because it's like, damn. He really likes this. I'm going to come just watching him. I'm going to come just hearing him, you know, just feeling him. That is going to be an amazing experience. And you just really want to let that passion overflow. Don't get in your mind thinking about, you know what, I'm going to try. I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm to hit it that way. That's going to make her curve. No. If the passion leads you to make that position or to do that position, then yes. But don't get in your head like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then that's going to make her come or. I'm going to do that and it's going to make her come. No. Let the passion consume you and let your body speak to her. Don't, don't, don't try to overanalyze and, you know, try to do this and try to do that. You know, like they say, when it comes to dancing, sex is a lot like dancing, right? When you are dancing, a lot of people who are like professional dancers or who, you know, do chore choreography, they say that when it comes to the music, that their bodies are just like taking over them. They're not thinking about the next move that they're getting ready to make. They're not thinking about, okay, I got to do this. One, two, three, count. I ain't thinking about that. I'm just letting that music and the rhythm of the of the sounds or the, or the energy within that room take over my body. And that's what sex is. You don't think about sex. You just do it. You let your, your body take over, your mood take over, your love take over, that passion. And it's going to ultimately result in those body movements. It's going to result in those different positions. It's going to result into you making certain sounds or making certain faces, making certain noises, saying certain things. Now, let me drink some water. But now, I don't know about y'all, but it's been some times, okay, where I was reaching that, that, that climax, right? And you say some off the chain shit. Like, why did I say that nasty shit? That was some dirty shit that I just said. But that's because you're not thinking. You're just saying some shit that comes to you based upon you letting yourself go and letting that passion consume you. Now, if I was in my mind, I'm going to be like, no, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say that shit. That's just too dirty. That's just nasty. But when you in that mood, you be you say some crazy shit. Like, what, what did you just say to me? Did he just say, take all of this motherfucking dick? He, you gonna say some crazy shit like, what? That is so out of your character, okay? Especially my husband, y'all. So he be saying some shit that I'm just like, he is such an introvert. It just catch me off guard. Like, my God. But it's because you letting that 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 passion take over. And I just want you guys to really get in the habit of letting that, that passion take over. Whether it is your facial expressions, whether it is what you say, or whether it is certain movements. All of that is very important. So make sure that you incorporate passion via facial expressions, sounds, and physical contact. All right, you guys. <laughs> and with that being said, before I move ahead along to the last and final thing on my list, I want you guys to like this video, share this video, subscribe to flynubianqueen.com, text the word queens to 31996 so that you can be notified every time we go live over on Fly Nubian Queen. And it's a lot of beautiful, you know, black, sisters over on Fly Nubian Queen. So when you do text that word queens 
to 31996. Um, it's no telling who you will get. Okay. We we talk about all different kind of topics, whether it is, you know, dealing with pop culture or, you know, trendy topics or relationships, hair, makeup. You don't know. Just make sure that you tune in to every beautiful black sister because they could be teaching you or somebody that you know. So that's why it's so important for you guys to like this, these videos and share these videos because you never know who could actually benefit from the conversation. Also, if you're over on YouTube, Danica Marie Dope Discussions, like this video, share this video, chime in, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell, y'all. All right? <laughs> so let that passion take over. I know y'all like Danica just nasty. We all nasty, y'all, okay? And me, I pride myself on being balanced, okay? While I'm going to be that woman that's all about, you know, being revolutionary when it comes to black love and all of that, you know, and I'm, I'm this woman that's going to be classy and a little bit reserved sometimes. I'm also going to be off the chain sometimes, okay? I'm also going to talk about things that's just like, oh, my God, Denise, how dare you? It's going to happen. It's, it's called being a human being. And with being a human being, we are very diverse, okay? We have things that balance out certain aspects of our characters okay so don't don't be alarmed you're gonna get some off the chain shit when it comes to Denise, okay and you also gonna get some quiet and reserved shit okay you're gonna get some revolutionary shit all of that is a part of me and you can either accept it or you cannot either way i'm gonna continue to be myself okay so let me see what y'all saying before i move ahead along to the last and final thing on my list out of the five tips to help your woman climax um, I am Black Planet. He says, what's the topic tonight? Again, King, we're talking about five tips to help your woman to climax. So make sure that you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I don't believe I've ever seen you in the, in the chat before. So make sure that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell. Andre says, keep it real, true indeed. Uh, Lanicia got the hand claps, okay? Uh, section 31. Oh, it just say you deleted the message. What you say? You probably said something off the chain. Uh, Lamar laughing and shit. Roxanne, you got a wrench too, queen, because I always see you over in the chat. In case you guys missed it, some of you guys that are over on YouTube, I gave you guys wrenches, and I made you guys moderators on the uh, platform because I noticed that you guys are the constant crown heads that are always in the chat, that are always tuning in, and I do appreciate all of my crown heads, okay, for those of you guys who are new. I call everybody that supports me crown heads because we are kings and queens. And so I gave wrenches or I made moderators the constant uh, crown heads that were always in the building. So if you got a wrench, that's why. Um, and if you want a wrench, uh, let me know and I can give you one. All right. Uh, let me see. What's up, Dante Champion? He says, uh, Section 31X like a beast. Y'all just off the chain. Y'all some damn barbarians. And it's okay to be a beast, but switch it up and be a little angel too sometimes, fellas. Be a little, be a prince charming too, okay? Okay, let me see. Uh, Amper Baby says, let her control your head while you eat it. Let her pull my dreads, laughing out loud. That's also very important <laughs> to allow your woman to take control as well. That's very important. Uh, Toriana Queen says, where do you where do you get alkaline water from? Um, we get alkaline water from Deerbuck. Deerberg, Schnook, Shop and Save. Um, it's a lot of uh, stores that got alkaline water. Walmart, I believe, has it. Uh, let me see a few more comments. And I'm going to move ahead along. Uh, he says, kiss that neck. Okay. Uh, let me see. Roy Bailey says, this is a lot of work. It's not a lot of work. You just got to take your time. Focus. Figure out what your woman likes and execute. Okay. Execute upon that clitoris. Execute upon that Grafenberg. I promise you. She will love it. All right. Be passionate. Be rough and gentle at the same damn time. All right. It's not like a lot of work, but it's not. Okay. The fifth and final thing on my list, you guys, before I get my ass up off of here, out of the five tips to help your woman climax is to focus on her. So you was right on the money with your uh comment, uh King. Over um, Fly New Beer Queen, he was like, let your woman take control. Focus on her. If that's what she wants you to do, that's what you need to do. I see all the hearts and likes, so I think y'all agree. Focus on her. When it comes to helping your woman orgasm, it will require you to really focus on her. The reason why many men have a hard time making their woman 
come is because they are not taking their time and are only focusing on themselves. So instead of chasing your own sexual satisfaction and orgasm, focus on your woman and help her to reach her climax first. Okay. Don't be selfish, y'all. It's a lot of men who are just selfish as fuck out here. And they only thinking about, okay, how can I make myself come? Okay, how can I please myself or make myself have this, you know, <sighs> intensified experience? And y'all not really thinking about the woman. Sorry, y'all, that, um, that lip gloss got to go. That lip gloss got to go. But, you know, you have to focus on your woman. And a lot of y'all are just focused on, okay, it's all about me. You know, I heard that a lot of women have a hard time reaching an orgasm anyway. So it is what it is. When she done, when I'm done, that she can finish off herself. That's not cool, fellas. Do not be selfish when it comes to pleasing your woman. Uh, a great way for you to reach that orgasm or help your, your woman rather reach that orgasm is to focus and pay attention to her body language. Uh, focus and pay attention to, you know, what mo what movements that you did that she responded well to. Okay. Um, pay attention to what sound she's making. Um, and also pay attention to what she's telling you to do directly. It's a lot of women out here who just like, look, I need you to do this. Do that, fellas. Don't just sit there and, and try to like play guessing games all the time. Like, okay, well, maybe I should do this. I heard Anika say I got to do that, so let me do this. Focus on what your woman is telling you directly because just because Danica likes doggy style, okay, does not mean that your woman like that. Maybe your woman likes missionary. So if she tells you directly, maybe I don't really like to have my ass in there like that. You know, that, that that's a little bit too deep. That hurts me. Um, just get on top or let me, you know, take control of you. Let me get on top because I know how to, you know, make myself climax while I'm, while I'm riding. Then pay attention to what she's directly saying. Don't just, you know, try to always take it upon yourself to make your woman come. Just focus on her. Focus on her body language. Focus on um, her sounds, her movements, her gestures, and also what she directly tells to you. So that is great ways. Those are great tips for you guys to help your woman to climax. Those are my, my five tips to help your woman. As you guys know, on Friday, we talked about five tips to help your man to climax. So we, I had to balance out the conversation because y'all know I like to deal in balance personally, okay? Especially when it comes to relationships. And it was only right for me to dive into five tips to help your woman to climax. Um, you guys, I want you guys to get in the habit of sending me over relationship tips and topics. This uh, particular conversation was actually inspired by a young queen that went by the alias name of, was it Young Honey or something? Something Honey. Lil Honey. So Lil Honey actually inspired these conversations as far as the five tips to help your man and woman climax. So hopefully you can be next <clears throat> by you sending in your relationship oriented topic or question. If you so choose to have me keep you uh, anonymous, I will respect that. Or if you don't care and you want me to say your name, I will give you credit for the inspiration for that topic for the day. Or if you want to go by an alias name like the queen, Lil Honey, send me over your, your street name or your alias name too, and I'll say that. But please do get in the habit of sending me over relationship topics and sub, uh, subjects or whatever the case is uh, to Danica Marie over on Facebook. And before I get, get off of here, I want to do a quick recap, okay? Out of the five tips to help your woman climax, and the first thing on my list was to focus on her clitoris, okay? A lot of y'all, man, y'all be all over the place and everywhere, but that little, that little, that little pearl right there in the middle, I want you to focus on that, okay? Whether it's using your, your tongue, whether it's using your lips, whether it's using your fingers, I, you can even have your penis, or you can even rub your penis on it, that works too. All of that helps, but I want you guys to get in the habit of focusing on that clitoris that's gonna very, much help your woman to climax. The clitoris is very sensitive and it's, it has a, it, it'll bring great sensations to your woman's body and it will help her achieve that, that climax. But make sure that you are focused on her clitoris. The second thing on my list, you guys, was to hit the G spot, AKA the Graffenberg. And again, like I taught y'all earlier, the way to find the G spot is to insert your finger or fingers into 
I personally just like the, the middle finger. I don't need all of them fingers. I don't need all of that. So just, just pick, put one finger in there and then just say, come here. Okay. And then that's how you find it. And some of the great positions that um, you can implement as, as far as hitting that G spot is the cowgirl position, the clothes missionary, as well as doggy style. Yeah, I know I like that. But if you don't know what these uh, positions are, you can always Google them. Okay. Google is your best friend. If you don't know what positions will help you to, you know, reach the G spot, Google it. If you don't want to, if you don't know what a, a clitoris is, Google it and find out. Okay. All of that is going to help your woman to reach her climax. Okay. So you want to focus on a clitoris and you want to also focus on that G spot. Okay. The third thing on my list was to be sensual and rough. Okay. You don't want to be too damn rough because that, that can hurt. Okay. That can be a turn off. I can start to dry up. I can start to get sore and I'm be like, get off me. That's too much. Okay. Y'all already, black men, y'all already know. Y'all be having too much. So be gentle, okay? You don't want to be too damn rough. Don't want to be too damn gentle. You want to balance it out. Switch up the tempo. Switch up the strokes. Switch up, what else I say? Um, the positions. All of that's going to help, all right? Uh, while you're being sensual and you're caressing on your woman and kissing on her and whispering soft nothings in her ear. You also need to say, girl, turn that ass over. Beat it up from the back. Grab that ass. Rip that ass. Smack that ass. Shit is amazing. Switch it up and find ways to be balanced in that bedroom. The fourth thing on my list was to incorporate passion via facial expressions, sounds, and physical contact. Passion is key when it comes to the bedroom. You don't want to have your woman think that you're not really that you know, enthusiastic about you know, having intercourse with her. You don't want to make her feel like you're bored. You don't want to make her feel like she's having sex with her is a chore. And one of the ways that you can do that is by moaning a little bit, you know, talking nasty to her, biting on her ear, your facial expressions, um, moaning. I know a lot of y'all men don't like to make noise, but you got to make noise, okay? I feel like I'm just bright as fuck right now. Let me turn down my lights. You really want to make noise. I feel like I'm too damn orange. Sorry, y'all. But um, <laughs> you just really want to get in the habit of letting your passion take control in the bedroom and not overanalyzing and overthinking. Um, and so when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, be free, and let that passion take control, your woman's going to really, you know, find herself in this, in this state of, like, <sighs> ecstasy. And that's going to really intensify that orgasm and make that experience memorable. And that's what it's all about, y'all. It ain't all about just, you know, beating it up and, you know, busting a nut. That's not what it's all about. You want to make that climax special. You want to make sure that the sex is special. You want to make sure that everything is a memorable experience and not just some quickie or wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, or thank you, sir situation. All right. And the last and final thing on my list, you guys, before I get up off of here, out of the five tips to help your woman climax was to simply focus on her. Okay. Um, focus on what she likes, focus on what she doesn't like, focus on what she's telling you directly, pay attention to her body language, pay attention to her sounds, her noises, pay attention to her, sec her secretions. Okay. Because we know that when you're doing what you need to do, it's going to have a little bit more drip to it. Okay. It's going to have a little bit more you know, grip to it, all of that. Okay. If you, if she like it, you're going to very well damn know she likes it. So just pay attention to all of that. Focus on her. Don't make it all about you. Don't be selfish. Um, cause a lot of men, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it a hundred. I'll be hearing, you know, my, my cousins and my, my friends talk about their sexual experiences and they just be saying like, you know, it's just, my man don't ever, you know, wait for me to have my orgasm. It's just all about him. And I just feel like I'm just a piece of meat sometimes. And he just be coming too fast and shit. And, and, and that's cool. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock y'all for coming fast because that just, that just means that she's good. Okay. She, you like what you, what you feeling. Okay. I'm not going to knock y'all for that, but try to, you know, get outside of yourself a little bit and say, you know what? I'm going to focus on my woman tonight. I'm not going to focus on just, you know, coming so fast. I'm not going to focus on just having me have a climax. I really want to make this experience good for my woman. So 
let me think about ponies and rainbows for the next, you know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I can, I can make sure that my woman's getting what she needs to get. And if you feel like you're getting ready to do something, fellas, y'all know y'all good for, you know, acting like I got a crap in y'all leg and shit. Do that. Okay. And so, you know what? Um, I got a crap on my leg. Let me stop for a second. Okay. Let's change positions. That that's that's fine too. Do whatever you gotta do to make sure that you are helping your woman to reach that climax first. And the way to do that is to simply focus on your woman. All right, y'all. And with that being said, I'm gonna get my ass up off of here. I will see you guys on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. I currently do not have a topic for Wednesday, so please send me over some relationship topics, questions, suggestions, all of that helps. And you, I can be found over on Danica Marie on Facebook. Um, be patient, though, you guys. It's a lot of people who get in my inbox cursing me out like, man, I sent you in a, a topic and you still ain't, you know, said my topic. And I'm just like, look, king, queen, I didn't see it yet. OK, be patient. I got my inbox is flooded. So just be patient with me. Send it over anyway. And if you real bad and bold, OK, leave it in the comments so we all can see. And we can all vote on your said topic. But I'm going to get off of here, you guys. Again, my name is Danica Marie. We go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Central. I appreciate all of my crown heads over on flynubianqueen.com as well as the Danica Marie Dope Discussions. You guys could be doing anything else in the world, but you always take this time out to, you know, chop it up and tune in to your girl and have our relationship-oriented topics. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Much love. And I will go back and read your comments. Don't worry. Yes, Mr. Bailey, I am a vegan. Um, he says, keeping it 100 always. I got to keep it 100. But I will go back and read your comments. Don't worry. I may not be able to respond, but best believe I do see them. And now I have my moderators in the building. So if they see some off the chain, your ass might be blocked. So make sure that you are keeping it professional. Of course, we're going to turn up. We're going to get a little raunchy sometimes and off the chain. But we still want to remain mature and respectful in our conversations. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Much love. And hopefully you were able to learn something to implement into your bedroom tonight. All right. So you will know that you got to hit that, that G spot and tickle that clitoris at the same time. Okay. So make sure that y'all are doing it with y'all woman so she can have that climax. Okay. Much love and peace. All right, YouTube. I'll see y'all later as well. Um, who I see? Hold on, let me hit uh, done over on Fly New Game Queen. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I see all the likes and shit. What's, what's up, uh, YouTube? Um, Jawan Wall says, where the dopest of the dope relationship discussions happen? Okay. Uh, ja Jawan Wall says, where my wrench? I'm going to give you one. Um, here we go. We, I can you a, you a moderator now. All right. Uh, Bob and Jay says yes. Um, Tracia says Montreal, Canada. Love you. My shout out to Canada in the building. Um, all right. I gotta get off here. It's a lot of y'all. Really, doll. What's good? I would like to submit a topic: five steps to healthy communication, timing, language, empathy, tone, and acceptance. Okay, let me see. Five steps to healthy communication. I need to write that down. And I, I think that's a great solid list that you just came up with. But maybe I can come up with my own as well. Okay, maybe that can be our topic. I have my pen right here for Wednesday. Okay, let me see. And you, I like how you wasn't scared, really, though. Uh, really, though, you can be a moderator, too. I always see you in the building. All right, he says, really though, five, y'all lost your comment. Okay, five steps to healthy communication. Steps to healthy communication. And I might put, put a spin on that. It may not exactly be five steps to healthy communication, but it, it's going to be something revolving around communication. I appreciate that comment. And so I'll get on that research so I can present that to us on Wednesday. And if anybody else have any, you know, relationship topics or uh, subjects or suggestions, you know, put it in the comment section or inbox me. OK, inbox me. I will put my uh, Facebook page in the description box once I'm complete. 
Much love and peace. All right.